Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Hard drive, fine tune, cbshop.com. Let's see how this one goes. Might be a long one, might not. Don't even know how I'm going to title it yet, but Mr. Uh, 955, Texas Star 500, the other system with the 99, this is you. Okay? Now I've got something else connected. I ain't gonna show any names. If I'm not paid, you know, by like the builder, I'm just, if I look weird here, if you can see me, I'm, I got a sliver in my finger, I'm digging out with a razor. So what's that, where did that come from? It's a typical class C. Okay, just a class C. This one seems to conduct a little bit more I don't know, 120, 130 degrees versus 70 to 90, which normally you see. It's working okay. I'm going to show you a couple of different things. And while we're on the topic of amplifiers, you guys are getting burnt too often in a lot of different ways. Number one, when you purchase the amplifier, you shouldn't even have to ask them. You should have at least two foot of wire coming out the back of it with this installed per amperage okay and the other side of this too with the uh, the lugs that get soldered to the wire you know it looks something like this I'll get into this in a minute and soldered not crimped soldered so this should be sticking out your amp connected to it should be the other side with the the lugs in there for you so it's convenient for you that all you have to do is in your, your car, truck, house, whatever, solder the eyelets on. You know, when someone shows up with an amp and it's not soldered, you piss off the technician. You're going to pay tech time plus bench time. That's just how it's been forever. People are trying to get by too cheap these days. Make sure it's installed. If you see these red ones, I'm guilty. Uh, 2000, 2005 I bought a bunch of cables you can make them up and I throw most of the junk away it came with it but I used a &L fuses and soldered the eyelets but something, I used to repair these okay, you can re -solder these I, I took the other end off and I put it on my bench over here now that you see pictures on my bench you're sitting, or my camera's sitting on my laptop okay, I have room underneath it to where I can work on stuff, we're connected. I got the power supplies up, amp off, amp off right now, so it's not so noisy. This is junk, also. This is junk. I'm guilty. I, I haven't sold any of these in ten years. They suck. Junk. All right. Period. When you see these red ones, don't don't mess with them. They break. They're substandard. I'm slowly changing mine over to all the other Andersons. Okay, I, I got to have some of these for a while. It still plugs into various things. This one here is for the screwballs that would come in and uh, have their polarity bass backwards. All right, so I could plug this in. It got to the point, some of you guys that are watching already know, if your shit don't hook up to my shit, you're going to pay or make sure it works before you get here. Period. That's just... You know, leading by example, setting the standards, period. That's how it works. Now, if you have one of these on one side, be careful. They're very fragile and they break. To make these work, and I've done another video on this, and I've seen other videos where people have kind of followed along with me. You're welcome. You take this part out, okay? That part. And then it'll fit. To remove those, they come apart really easy. Let's see if I can't get you down here a little bit. Alright. There's a little pin right there on the inside. A little metal plate. What you do, I need you to see it here, is you push down on it and pull the wire out. Cool, huh? And these, I probably installed these myself. Those are soldered. Okay, That's been on there for eons. 
but you've seen these in videos, etc. This one's been crimped. Never crimp anything. This is total garbage. I bet I experienced voltage drop in these alone. And will this change your SWRs? It will. Don't argue unless you know what you're talking about. Crimping the DC negative will definitely give you all kinds of scenarios. What even some people call reflect. And get into that here a little bit too. I've had questions. How come I don't show it? I don't need to. Why would I want to? Well, I, I don't have to. I have test equipment. Okay, I don't have 20 meters because I have test equipment. I have a tuned bench. Something to pay attention to. Understand, if this ground changes with the resistance, well, then the radio and the amp in the chain sees a different potential between the RF and the DC. Something like that doesn't ring any bells or whistles. I suggest you get out the encyclopedia. <laughs> I ain't trying to be a dick. I'm just being me. Oh, well, no, I'm just going to let that fly. Okay. So, what I got installed on this, you're going to see more and more as I go on with this video, is the same wire that I use off my RF generator. It's something that you really can't even buy. You have to make it. And you got to have the tools to make it and know what you're doing. It's a it's a good cable, the ends, the PLs, everything. I'm going to fire this radio up into the amp and let you see something. Okay? I want you to pay close attention to everything that's going on. There's more going on than I can explain All right, in a half hour. A couple of seconds is a lot of explaining. So anyways, so make sure everything's out of the way, lids off, there ain't no hocus pocus, ain't no voodoo, 955, you know whose radio it is typical class C amplifier that's actually well the switch for biasing no it doesn't seem it doesn't exist I don't even need to look inside and I'm not going to I could tell quickly just by keying it up the rest of it seems okay hold on All right, it's gonna get noisy nothing I could do about it by the way, wait, for people that have a clue what's really up, I am variable up to like 15 and a half. I've got some of the cleanest DC power you can afford. Up to 750 amps. Do I want to use it? No. But I, I'm variable by three. The radio is always going to be at 14 and a half. My bench always. 14.4, 14.5, okay? Always. The amp is going to be running at 14.52 on another separate power supply. Yeah, they daisy chain. They, they're, they're very unique in how they are. You go back to some of like my Quartzite Arizona pictures, you'll see them stacked up with a Budweiser on the top. Yeah, I was still drinking brewskis back then. It was built by MGD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sure was in the desert, middle of nowhere. That Raptor 700R, my, I miss you, Rocky. That 700R was a lot of fun out there. Raptor. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's see where we at. Okay. Looks like everything's rocking. Now you got a good, clear picture of the bench. That's very current. Okay. It's hard to get up and move the camera around. Especially where it's sitting. I ain't knocking my shit over. Uh-uh. So let me get some stuff out of the way that's conductive. No the arcing and sparking and shit flying. And, uh, okay. Pay attention. It's going to get noisy in here. The cells, the fans are really loud. The ones in the back room, well, it's an insulated wall right over there. You know, it's 15 foot by 8 and a half back there. There's another room. But the wall, you can't hear that. But I got this other one over here. Just so I could do certain other things. And yes, various voltages. Some guys might be listening. No, I don't go to 20 volts. Can I put them there? I'm not going to. I can go to 16. 15 and a half is all I really want to do. It starts changing the volts in Ohm's Law type of thing. Plugged into 110. One's in the back. I can go 220, 110. They're separated. It's really cool. 
I can actually control it from that breaker right over here. Let me get started. Okay, that's that one. That noise is the amp switch, okay? I don't want to make this video too damn long, so I'm going to try to cruise along here. Everything's running. Camera's still working. Alright. See that? Looks like dog shit, don't it? Power wide open. Now the rate everything's tuned, but coax length again, right? That's a total shit box right there. Notice the distortion. That's wide open right there. Okay. Audio six 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 one two three four five. Audio one two. Notice all the equations here. All right. Pinching pretty bad. Really distorted. The uh, nine fifty fives. The filters and the filtering that it's got. TBI you know, fifty four megahertz traps etc. These things are clean as hell. But it's not the radio that's doing that, okay? It's Class C amp. So I'm going to remove this. You know what this is now. This ain't some piece of junk. You see what I do with it. Down to 135, 137. Maybe down, okay? I use this all the time. When I tune something. This is what I use. Yes, it's a tuned half wavelength. No, you can't go online and try to use a calculator and think that shit's gonna work. You might get into the band, but you won't get to the frequency. How it's done? No, I don't come out and tell nothing for free. You can buy it if you like. Okay, let's hook this back up. All right, radio connected. Kind of cool, huh? It just doesn't happen, you know, zippity-doo-dah, hook shit up. Oh, no. It's a lot more complicated than that. So, now let's take a look. I wouldn't run it at a 125-watt carrier. You could, all right? If you needed that extra, you could. By the way, I I put the amp through some use, and it's fairly stable. Okay, it is not bad. I'd run it at half power. All right. I took the time and got it all balanced out to where we can at least key, and I'll show you a low power. Turn it on. It's in your bunk. Just leave it on. Just check on it every now and then make sure that the fans clean and clear all your connections are tight that's why again you use the right coax all the right ends professionally assembled otherwise you use it for a couple days enjoy it and then all of a sudden poof goes the white smoke and you're bitching and then you're not happy no more connections are always the problem always I see the same shit connections half-assed cheap in a hurry lazy shit ass connections don't do them they're expensive though i know connections will can cost more than your entire system unless you really know how to do it a couple of guys have been talking through throughout the years you know some just recently it's like uh-huh but if you're not paying you're not learning i'm sure some of you guys are going to figure that out all right so I got it halfway. Okay, she's she's stroking. Alright, that's a thousand watt plug. Okay, you see what's going on. You watched enough of my videos to know what's up here. No BS going on. No time for it. Okay? All the way down. Alright. Let's start off there. It receives done, everything's done, she's ready to get put back in the box, that big ass box. Alright, so it's like nothing. Let's see. Now, if we had reflect, we'd see it. Okay? We'd see it. It's all tuned. She 
be no reflect. It's tuned. So we go down to like 20 watt skis. Alright? You can do this all day long, man. All day. And control it from the front of your radio. Right from the front. Turn the damn thing on and control it from the front of your radio. I right, turn my old raunchy ranger on. Audio, it's gonna squeal so close. Plus the frequency response, etc. Let me put an SRA on there. That's my little static. It's pretty much tuned for this. I still gonna squeal, but see the S's and the T's. My meter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, 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 break. Audio. Check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it sounds good. A little bit of echo. We'll turn that stuff on right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker, my duck. All right, that's all the way down. And you can see it's that's awesome, man. Anyone you talk to. You're going to find it pleasurable to talk to you. And you're going to get out at 20 watts. Okay, 22, 25, audio, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, break, 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 break. You know, it doesn't take much. Let's see. That's the 50. Yeah. So it's just doing all right. Now you're 20. It's just our 10 watts, man. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it's on. That's off. One, two, three, four, 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 four. That's on. Pretty damn wild how that works, huh? Okay, we're on right there. You know, half power. That's kind of how I do it. Oh, okay. I'll show you. I'm only going to do this once. Power is wide open. I'll turn this bass backwards, okay? We all know what that does. Audio, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you have a bench, if you can tune up the spurious emissions in the harmonics and match the impedance into the amp, providing a... There's more to it. That length actually chains, changes the sound, you know, like coming out of your mouth. It's all... Every single part and piece is relevant. I know that's got to be getting some people, but tough. Alright, there we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Break, 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 break. That's wide open right there. Audio. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Break, break, break. So let's put the 1K back in. That where it belongs. Twenty-five audio six seven eight nine ten breaker breaker audio. Yeah, you, you yell into it. You're almost gonna see six hundred pep. So what is that? Uh, audio almost two almost two hundred continuous one eighty something like that. Not bad. But I would not push this little four pill any more than that. And you can tell right there that. Uh, it's still the exact same sound, okay? Coming out my little junk, junk box ranger up there. I'll try to turn it up some more, but it's probably gonna squeal. But there it is, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Yeah, mud duck, hey, smoky beer. Sitting in the middle, lights down, hammer down. <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. Well, there it is, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, break. Alright, I hope you guys caught on to some of the stuff. You just can't pull this out of your you know what. It just can't happen by just sticking stuff together in some length of coax, some calculator. What a class C that is. There's a lot to it. Connections are king, alright? Really, connections are king. I don't know what else can I cover while we're doing this. I think that wraps it up. Oh, by the way, okay, I've heard some guys, and they claim to be technicians, that they say that they can use a Class C on sideband. No, 
Yeah, you can, you can, but you're tearing shit up. Your relays, for one. You do it too long, you're going to heat everything up, especially your transistors. And you're going to sound like crap and splatter. On sideband, sound like crap and splatter? Nah. Not cool. So let's take this little 955 and go to the upper sideband. And try to get you zapped in here a little bit. Audio six seven 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 audio seven 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 pretty nasty one two three four five six seven eight nine ten see it right there look in the middle it's not biased properly the big like white line or gap audio six seven eight nine ten 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 this thing has a relay on it. It's on now, so when I stop talking or between syllables, it'll stay keyed. I don't know why my camera just went out of focus. There we go. Right there, we'll try it there. See it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's disgusting. Using a Class C on sideband, forget it. That's like total disrespect. And telling people that you can, that's even worse. Hey, it's hard drive, fine-tunedcbshop.com. Hopefully I didn't create too many more enemies. That's just the way some shit is sometimes. You know who it is. Now back on out of here. Click, click.